once you've chosen your item for your space bat, add this code to your bat so when the flag is clicked, the space bat will forever wait a random length of seconds, between 5 to 10 seconds perhaps, and then create a clone of the orange sprite. So let's implement that. So when the flag is clicked, we want to create clones of not ourselves, but of the object. And my scenario is the orange. And we want to wait a random amount of seconds between the next orange to appear. So we'll use an operator. That way it can pick a random amount of seconds. Like, for example, 5 to 10. And we want this to forever be happening in our program. So, if you click the flag, not much will happen because, first off, our orange is hiding. So, let's go into our orange. And let's add this code to the orange to make each clone drop, starting from the bat sprite and falling towards the bottom of the stage. And then we'll add some more code to the orange sprite. So, when the orange hits the spaceship sprite, the clone also disappears to give the player a chance to restart. So let's implement this in the orange script. So we're in the orange script and the first thing we're going to do is when flag clicked, we're going to hide the original orange if it's not already. And you feel free to test that out, make sure your orange is not there. But once we implement the code, the new trigger, when I start as a clone, this is going to tell the clone what to do after it's been born. So the first thing the clone is going to do is go to the bat and show. So that's a motion. We want to go to somewhere, specifically the bat. And after we go to the bat, let's use a looks block to make sure the orange shows up. After the orange shows up, we're going to repeat until touching the edge. Until we get to the edge, we are changing the Y axis by negative four, for we can get down to the edge. Once we are touching the edge, we will delete this clone. So let's implement it. We're gonna use the control again, because we're repeating until we are touching, so that's sensing, we're sensing that we are touching the edge. We haven't got to the edge, pretend. That's what's inside the loop. So until we get there, we're changing the Y by, so this controls up and down. Let's go negative four to go downwards. And once it touches the edge, we can then delete this clone. And that is a control because that's it. That is the end of that program. And test it out when the flag is clicked. Your bat should be moving just like normally. And we are waiting 5 to 10 seconds for the orange to drop. And every so often, your bat should be dropping your object. And if that's working, great, great. There's only one thing else we have to implement. 